Okay, so the, the patient is uh, post-status uh, right knee meniscectomy, and they are toe-touch weight-bearing on their right leg. So, yeah. I'm going to show you how to properly use these crutches um, and how to fit them according to you. What you want is to put them just slightly under your armpits, about two inches away, um, and you want them to the front about two inches and out to the side about four to six inches. So basically you never want the crutches directly <laughs> just straight under you. And um, you want to have a little bit of bend in your elbows, so just a little bit of flex in them, all right? So I'm gonna give them to you, make sure they're <coughs> fitting. Okay. Four to six out. Yep, to the front, yep, and about two inches away from your armpit. Yep. All right, looks good. Okay, so I'll take those back. And I'm now going to show uh, the patient how to properly get up, walk, and then get back in a chair, okay? So we're gonna come over here. What you're gonna do, and I'm going to guide you through this after this. Um, you're going to sit in the chair. You want the crutches on the side. Your right leg is the side you had surgery on. So you want the crutches on the side of your right leg, and you want to drive with your, with your weight through the crutches on that same side. You want to slide to the edge of the chair as much as you can and what's comfortable, and you want to drive your arm on the opposite side that you didn't have surgery on um, through the chair. And you just want to stand up. And you want to keep just minimal, as little weight as you can on that leg. Let's drive through. Okay. Thanks for all that. So again, you just want the crutches out in front just a little bit. And you want minimal weight on that leg. And so I'm going to show you what's called a three-point step two gait pattern. All that really means is that three points of contact will be on the ground. So you're going to step with the crutches with your good foot to the crutch. So it's gonna be like one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And so on. And then you'll turn around. Uh-oh. Okay, so you just want to on that leg on the side of the leg you had surgery on. Yep. Now you want to, before you sit back, you want to make sure your feet are close to the chair as much as you can. Yep. All right, and then lean up. <laughs> that was awkward. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Okay, last thing we're going to do, I'll take these. I'm going to show you how to go up and down stairs. We're not going to go all the way up and down stairs. All the way. We're just going to go up and down four stairs. And we're going to go down here. So, the way this works, uh, I'll let you get in position. The way this works is, we're gonna use this phrase called up with the good and down with the bad. Um, so you're gonna go first up with your good leg and you're gonna put the crutches on the side that um, your good leg is on. And you're gonna keep minimal weight on that leg. You're gonna use your arm on the side you've been surgery on to balance yourself on the rail. So grab that rail, you're gonna step up with this crutch, you're gonna hop up with the leg that you had surgery on. Or with your good leg. With your good leg. Yep. You can go up. One. Again. Make, making sure to brace yourself with your arms with the punches. One. Okay. We'll turn around. Go three. Minimal weight on that leg. 
So now we're gonna go down with the bag. So your arm position doesn't change. You still are driving your weight through the crutches and through your arm on the rail. Except for now you're gonna go down with the bag. You're gonna squat a little bit, crutches down. One, it's just my shoe. And then again, one, down with the bag, one. Okay, so I'll spot you. I'll try to do this. I know, it's, this is <laughs> awkward. If you don't do it one or whatever, it's okay. On the big side. Yeah, and if you want to get closer to that rail, that's perfectly fine. I'll be behind you spotting. So this is my bad leg. Yep. So you're just gonna push with the. You can put the crutches up there. You just wanna like hop up with the. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, 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 no, no, no. You can't. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. Um. Can I modify it with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. You wanna try it with someone who can, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. We, we definitely can. We can. Record. All right. So now I'm gonna show you how to go up and down stairs. We're just gonna go up about three and then turn around as if we're at the top. So what you wanna do is put the crutches on um, the side that you did not have surgery on. You wanna lean your weight on this rail on the side that you had surgery on, and you just wanna go up with the good leg, all right? Okay. So you can step the crutches up, and you're gonna do a hopping motion, driving your weight through the crutches and that rail. You just hop up, one, same thing, drive your weight through again. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so keep minimal weight on that leg. All right. So now your arms don't change. We're going to go down. And we're going to do what's called down with the bat. So you're going to put the crutches down and you're going to start going down with your um, leg you surgery on, driving your weight through the rail and um, the crutches and just go down. One. One. <coughs> just like that. So I'm going to guide you through that and I'll spot you as you're going up and down, okay?